The DRDO has issued a tender for the construction of six units of solid-state power amplifier-based Kuban Asa Seeker for the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 air-to-air missile that will replace the Russian Agat Seeker that was borrowed from the R-77 missile for the initial Astra Mark 1 units. The new indigenous Kuban Asa Seeker will be delivered within the next two years and will integrate it with the 248 Astra Mark 1 missiles ordered by the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy in July 2020. The Indian Air Force is all set to start the development come user trials of the 160 km range Astra Mark 2 from 5 Su-30 fighter jets, and the Astra Mark 2 will be ready to enter production in 2023. The DRDO will also start development trials of the 340 km range Astra Mark III missile in 2022, that will be powered by solid fuel ducted ramjet missile propulsion system. In a very significant development, the DRDO is working on the fabrication of 10 units of quick reaction surface to air missile systems, and has also issued a tender for laser proximity fuse for the 30 km range QRSAM, that will increase its skill probability, and will also ensure that the QRSAM is not jammed by adversaries. The Mach 4.7 capable QRSAM will be ready for production in 2022, and it possesses over 90% Indian-made subsystems, which will reach 99% in the next few years. The DRDO has completed the fabrication of a new unit of the Uta Mesa radar, and the Electronics and Radar Development Establishment has also started equipping the radar testing site with radio frequency absorbers for ground testing. The DRDO is also renting a long-range detection and tracking radar to test the electronic warfare capabilities of this AESA radar system. The indigenous UTAM radar will complete its certification by 2022, and will be integrated from the 21st stages Mark 1A fighter jet onwards. The Mumbai-based private sector firm Prissy Hole Private Limited has won the competition to provide barrel for 25 pre-production units of Ashmi submachine gun. The Indian Army will soon start user trials with the 25 units in different conditions, and the 9x19mm rounds used for the user trials can be procured by SSS Defence or Hughes Precision Manufacturing Private Limited. A Pakistani defense analyst has said that due to the integration of the canister container, the Agni Prime will reduce response time of the Indian Army with improved mobility, and it also makes it harder to detect. He also called for the development of a similar canister-based ballistic missile by Pakistan to improve its own response time and match India's conventional and nuclear ballistic missile technology. A Chinese military expert has also said that India has found an equalizer to its DF-21D, and that India will turn the Agni Prime into a full-fledged anti-aircraft carrier missile. During his visit to San Diego, the Vice Chief of the Indian Navy has met with US Navy's Vice Admiral Steve Kohler, and they held talks on increasing cooperation with the US Navy on undersea warfare and underwater domain awareness in the Indo-Pacific. He also visited the Undersea Warfighting Development Center, Submarine Development Squadron, the Undersea Rescue Command, the Fleet Anti-Submarine Warfare Training Center, and the USS Theodore Roosevelt Aircraft Carrier. He also met with Indian Navy personnel training on the MH-60 anti-submarine helicopters at the naval base Coronado. Russian President Vladimir Putin has unveiled a new national security policy that aims to further expand strategic cooperation with India, while developing comprehensive partnerships with China, and also ditching the dependence on US dollar-based international transactions. The new policy has also pointed out that there are efforts by armies of some countries to disable critical information infrastructure in Russia and foreign intelligence services have intensified their intelligence and other operations in the Russian information space. <laughs>